Customizing your YouTube channel layout is an easy hack to get more views and more subscribers. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Hey guys, Adam here from Hustle Savvy. Help you grow your audience online and build a business around your skills and passion. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and that bell icon so you won't miss any of my videos. When people are looking at your YouTube channel, it's a good opportunity to guide them through what your channel is about and what benefits it brings to them. If they're able to understand all of this in one glance, they're more likely to click on your other YouTube videos, watch them, and eventually subscribe. First, you want to create sections, and within those sections, you can categorize your content using playlists. Head over to the top of your channel and click on Customize Channel. You'll land at this page right here. Just scroll down and click on Add Section. From here, you can choose this drop-down and Single Playlist. From here, you can then choose your playlist under Find Playlist. Let's say I'll make a duplicate one. I'll click on this one right here. And this is a preview that you will get to see before approving it. So click done. And you can then readjust the position of this section. Now, of course, this will only work if you already have playlists uh, created within your channel. So playlist is under this section right here. And as you can see, I have YouTube beginner tips and tutorials, content marketing strategy, and a few other that I can easily pull out as my section. If you need help with how to create a playlist, do let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to help you in the future. It's beyond the scope of this video. Okay, some things to consider when doing all of this. You wanna make sure that your playlists are named accordingly and this will help the users find your content much faster and much easier. Remember, you don't want to confuse your users or your viewers so the other option is you can also experiment with a vertical layout. So by default, it's horizontal row, but you can drop down here and click on vertical list, which will create a different kind of layout. Personally, I prefer it to be horizontal just because I'll be able to have more rows as people scroll down throughout my channel. And this gives me more opportunity to get those eyeballs on more of my video, especially once you have, you know, 50 or 100 or more video content, this will give you the most exposure. The other thing is you can by default have uploads in this section, and this will automatically update and show the latest videos that are being uploaded on your channel. You can also add popular uploads this way, automatically, YouTube will show the most popular content on your channel. So imagine it being your greatest hits. It's a lot easier for someone who's new to your channel to find your best videos. And from there, they're more likely to convert and become a subscriber. Your channel art or channel banner is prime real estate to explain to your viewer what your brand is all about. Make sure to have at least one brand tagline or channel tagline, which describes the value that this channel brings to the particular viewer. In fact, you should also mention, if possible, who is this channel for? Oh, by the way, if you need help to create your own channel art, check out this video right here. I use Canva. It's a free and easy to use software, so you don't need to be a graphic designer to do this. You can also upload a channel trailer explaining what your channel is about, or you can upload another video as a sample to your overall content. YouTube allows you to show different videos to returning subscribers and for new visitors. So you can play around with this strategically, maybe an introductory video for new visitors and maybe one of your best videos for your returning subscribers. So similar to what I'm doing right here, I don't have an introduction trailer, but I do have a specific video that I upload for my channel trailer. Hey, if you're just starting out on YouTube or struggling to get views, check out this YouTube optimization checklist I've made. It's a free resource, link in the description below. 
Now, when it comes to channel logos, I recommend that you use a proper branded channel logo that represents your company or your organization. Alternatively, you can also use your face, your image as another more personal branding approach, which works as well. Now remember, your logo needs to represent your brand identity and I think you should really choose wisely as people are more likely to remember you when you are interacting in the comment sections in other YouTube channels or other YouTube videos. Hey, I hope you're getting value out of this video and if you do, can you help me out and please hit that like button. Question of the day, which of these tips are the most useful to you? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do to improve in the future and make more videos based on your comments. Hey, if you like this video, why not share it with your friends? Don't trust the algorithm, right? <laughs> Check out these other videos as well. And this one right here is the one that YouTube recommends just for you. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you next time.